guys, Pilot Gaming to Defray from PJ to Defray Coast News here, back with another construction update of the Joker Hybrid Roller Coaster coming to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in 2016. There's been more progress done in the last two weeks than there has been in the month between the first and second construction updates. But before we get into all that, we gotta take a look at some of the things that's been going around around in Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Currently, what you're seeing is a walkthrough of the from the about the Sea Lion Stadium Q area up until the Roar Plaza and the Superman Ultimate Flight area, and that is also where the V2 entrance is. You can see some of the Breaking Wave turn is this track has been put on, along with Superman in the background and V2. Pacific Room 5D was showing for season pass holder previews. A grand opening is yet to be released. Exciting news, Voodoo was finally operational after about seven or so months of not being operational. It was on and off, but still. Monsoon Falls is still closed. Even though it's early spring, it's still closed for the winter. And V2 unexpectedly broke down when I was going to go to ride it, so yeah, that was kind of disappointing to clean up some of the living induction motors that you can see right there. Start the update with a look from outside the park. See some of the breaking wave turn cut. Along with station track. So the view of this breaking wave turn with the track partway complete. You can see inside some of the old footers there of the old wood. The 180 degree stall is complete along with the lift to the so the Crane there turned off for the day. As you can see the breaking wave turn with the sharp twist that it takes outward airtime hill and then the wave turn as you can see on the lift off. So another view of the 180 degree stall. It's a bit different from the animations. Yeah, everything's different. You can see, I don't know if this is shadow or new wood has that kind of effect, but it's new wood. You can definitely tell on top of the, of the roar structure which is being used for the Joker. And a lot of the new wood, you can tell the new the new wood apart from the old wood by if it's a lighter shade. Condition the old roar is now close sign is still there, along with the temporary Joker coming in 2016 sign, which the wooden and the wooden panels are still there. There's a turn out of the station. And the 180 degree stall, I was touching on this earlier, the 180 degree stall, it goes, in the animation, you turn left, and then you turn left again, exiting the inversion, but in real life, you turn left, and then you turn right out of the inversion, which is, it kind of took the twisted Colossus route, because it was going to go right right, but it ended up going right left, so that was pretty interesting, but then again, Six Flags always changing their minds. Just like Six Flags Great Adventure, they named a roller coaster after the coaster that they're naming this, uh, this park was naming this ride. Exciting news, Superman Ultimate Flight was finally working, so I was finally able to get some shots from the queue. The main important part is that the chain is on site. It hasn't been installed yet, but it's still on site. It's a good sign. See Roar's old chain there. Geesh, I wonder how that happened. Part of the breaking break around section with track with ledgers and then the bear section. Let's look at the 180 degree stall from the Superman overflow queue with the step up under flip firmly in the background. Break run section there. It's kind of interesting. They're gonna do it last. The skyscraper there in the background. You can see the extra wood that they piled on for the step up under flip, and the ladder is still there and has not been touched. So that'll be interesting. We are well underway to the new Joker Hybrid Roller Coaster. You see the lift hill, the um, catwalk almost done, pretty much done. And we'll await its opening. You see the drop here with the step up on the flip following. It's the 180 degree stall, which has been so, so many featured, so featured in this video. So we will see how construction goes. <laughs> The 
that's all folks. Stay tuned for more Joker construction updates coming to the BG Digital Freight Coast News channel. And do me a favor, make sure to smack that thumbs up button if you'd like to see more. And make sure to subscribe to BG Digital Freight Coast News to keep up to date with all things Six Flags Discovery Kingdom and other theme parks, including five year plans, park battles, and much, much more. You can also check out my other channel, Pilot Gaming 2248, gaming videos, and much, much more. Catch you guys next time here on Houston Break Coast News.